Many people know that the 996 GT3 and Turbo share the same basic engine design. Whilst they do share the same design, they do share some components, there's also quite a few differences between them. So in this short video, I'm just going to give a quick visual explanation of the differences between the cylinder heads between the two. So what I have here is a GT3 head and also a turbo head. The turbo head is actually from a 997, but it's basically the same as on the 996. So starting off looking at the, the tops of the heads, one of the most noticeable differences is this channel machined in here. This is actually um, an oil channel on the turbo engine. It's used for the adjustable lift. So there's a, a solenoid which fits somewhere around there, I think, um, which is used to actuate the, the different lifters on the intake side, which is on this side. Another difference on these is the, the depths of the, the bases for the valve springs. So if you look on the, on the inlets, there on the turbo and there on the GT3, you'll see the GT3 base sits lower, whereas on the inlet side, it's the opposite way around. So it's lower on the turbo than it is on the GT3. The valve guides look very similar. They all have the six millimeter stems on them. So that's the top side, and I'll turn them over and we can look at the inlets. Now looking on the intake ports, so you can see there's a, a clear visual difference between the GT3 and the turbo. Both of these heads are from the same casting. If we look on the side here, you can see there's the, the casting number, which is identical between them. But the ports do look quite different on the the turbo head, you can see it's got a rough finish on it. So that looks as if it's just from the, the bare casting. So they get the casting done and then there's no machining work done on it. Whereas in comparison, on the GT3 head, you can see there's a couple of little areas just here where the machining hasn't touched the original casting, but the rest of it is all machined out and the, the separation point between the two Inlets is a lot further down as well. So if you look at that comparison, you can see it's, it's massively different. So the ports are generally a lot bigger on the GT3. So it's been machined out to make the ports bigger. So if I just put them side by side like that, you can get a good idea of it. Obviously the, the flow on the GT3 inlet is much more important than on the turbo because the turbo has got the Turbo charge is obviously forcing the inlet charge in. Okay, let's have a look on the exhaust side. Now comparing the exhausts between the two. I've got a, a torch here so we can hopefully see what's going on. So inside the GT3, you see nice smooth ports. You can see the this little hole at the bottom here. You can just see there, that's for the EGR, so that's where the exhaust gas recirculates and you can see that the valve guide is trimmed flush with the port on the top there. In comparison with the, the turbo port, it looks broadly the same. The valve guide is actually protruding into the exhaust flow and as you can see again there's no finishing on the on the actual port walls. Um, in terms of the look of them they look very similar in terms of size. I don't think there's a large difference between them, between the two. Looking at them, at them there, there's no, there's no obvious big difference. Certainly the, the difference on the exhaust is massively less marked than it is on the intake side. So finally, let's have a look at the combustion chambers. Now looking on the combustion chamber side. Again, they look very similar between the, the two heads. There's no obvious marked difference in the shape or design of the combustion chamber and indeed the finish on them is sort of like a casting finish it's not um, they're not particularly well finished i can feel a lip on the on the edge of there on this gt3 head and it looks a very similar finish on the the turbo one as well the main difference obviously is in the different sizes of the valves so if we look at the exhaust valves 
They're 32 millimeters on the turbo and 35 and a half on the GT3. And for the inlets, it's 37 on the turbo and 41 over here on the GT3. Obviously the turbo has to cope with much higher combustion temperatures and um, as a result of which it will need more strength and you can see the the gaps between the inlets and exhaust valves markedly different between the two and also the gaps between the two inlet valves and between the two exhaust valves so there's a, a lot more room in the turbo head than there is in the GT3 head but other than that they are they look very similar in terms of the combustion chamber shape with the um, shape down here. I'm not sure what the difference in combustion volume is between the two. I would expect that most of the compression ratio difference is done with the different pistons. Um, there certainly doesn't seem to be a lot of difference in the in the combustion chambers there. Okay, so there you go. I hope that was interesting and useful.